Hey, hobby friends. Your old pal Bo here. The only man on YouTube with a face for radio and a voice for print. Coming at you again. Uh, first, a little bit of stuff on my table. As uh, Brian from World World War II would say. I'm uh, working on a... This is a Warhammer 30K uh, Demos pattern rhino that I am converting to a Sisters of Battle rhino. I uh, actually did end up ordering some custom uh, fleur de -lis doors from uh, Gateways, whatever that's called, a uh, printing service. They're not here yet. Uh, also, there's a, for you uh, kit bashers, the turret rings for the Demos pattern are much smaller than the turret rings that came with the Sisters Upgrade sprue. So uh, I had to get really creative with the Dremel tool. So <laughs> you, you don't have to have the hand of a surgeon. You have to almost have the hand of a surgeon to get that turret ring to fit. And I'm about 90% of the way there. And I wanted to put the larger uh, cupola ring so that I could put the uh, the sister's gunner. Also, a glutton for punishment, I'm doing the all of my sisters with the um, heads instead of the helmets. So lots of faces to paint. Don't know why I'm doing it. Probably never paint the game. But the idea of I don't know if Sisters of Battle are just, as DM James would say, they're badass. They're badass girls. So um, just the thought of having, uh, you know, some sisters out there. And I've got some that are uh, primed and I've started painting capes. Lots and lots of capes. But you guys know that. Um, I want to talk about hobby burnout. I think that everyone goes through it. Um, part of hobby burnout, I think, is imposter's syndrome. If you don't know what imposter syndrome is, it's a psychological phenomenon in which uh, no matter how good you are at something or no matter uh, how well you perform at something, you feel like a faker. Uh, you feel like you're not quite good enough and you feel like you're going to get found out and people are going to know that what you're doing is, is, um, is wrong or fake or inadequate or insufficient. And... Uh, I think it's a problem or a, a phenomenon, a feeling that a lot of people have, especially um, DM, GM, keepers, referees, whatever you call it in the game that you play. Uh, sooner or later, you're going to feel like a fraud. You're going to feel like you're going to get found out, especially if you're um, running home brews or sandboxes, or just not following modules. And I think that's okay. I, I think that um, I was thinking about the DMGM keeper shortage in the greater role-playing community the other day, and I think that there are a couple of um, things, factors, that contribute to that. I think that one of them is um, that feeling that you're inadequate, that you're not good enough. I think some of that comes from uh, a, a lack of knowledge and understanding of some source material, maybe. If you're playing a high fantasy game, a Gygaxian fantasy, and maybe you're of a generation that never read uh, Fafford of the Grey Mouse, or you never read Vance, or, or, uh, or even... Um, a token, you know, if, if you haven't read this stuff, that the it's you know the source material. If you haven't gone through, as Shadow says, and gone through the appendix, um, the appendices of the uh, AD and D DM's guide, you might not feel super prepared. If you're playing a sci-fi game and you haven't read, I don't know, Timeline or or Asimov or you know the the, the inspiration for your whatever. It, your genre is you might feel a lack of preparation and I don't know uh, I can tell you that of late I have felt that I have had those um, feelings that oh my gosh I'm gonna get found out uh, oh my gosh I'm, I'm really not good enough for this game or oh my gosh what's gonna happen when this adventure hook uh, when this uh, act of the campaign ends and I have to transition to a second act. I think there, there has to take a, a certain degree of uh, 
of willingness to fly by the seat of your pants to run a game uh, that requires a lot of improvisational uh, acting, especially on the part of the DM, GM, keeper, referee, and all. So, um, stress, right? Stress is the body's uh, natural reaction to these kinds of situations. How do you deal with it? Uh, how do you deal with it as a, as a DM? What happens when you uh, experience these things? What do you do when you um, when you feel like you're at the end of uh, your, pre your preparations? Maybe you've painted yourself into a corner. What do you do when you feel like you've painted yourself into a corner? Um, it's kind of hard to drop back 10 and punt. You can end the game. You can try to take a hard reset on a campaign. You can go with the flow of the punches and hope that your party is understanding. Sometimes I ask questions I don't know the answers to. So one of the whole reasons I'm on YouTube is not to be rhetorical, but to uh, explore and investigate and greater gain a greater understanding of um, of this community so uh, as a general outsider as a, a new game master i ask what do you do when you feel hobby burnout especially from a gm's perspective All right um thanks for your time i appreciate it i try to keep these videos around seven minutes because most of my viewers stop watching around 45 seconds anyway. So I figured anything after one minute is pretty much me just screaming into the void. So uh, thank you for your time. I appreciate uh, any kind of um, interaction that I get. Uh, and I would ask you to keep gaming, keep having fun, make the hobby your own. And so in any capacity that you enjoy it, whether it's um, building a mini model kits, uh, painting, uh, tabletop board gaming, a role-playing game, uh, whatever you do today, try to make it fun. Peace.